Gen Z are an employer's nightmare. My 20s put them to shame. Bro, you're literally, your name is Money Coots. Shut the f up. See yourself out of this conversation. Oh my God. I don't want to look how much their family is worth. It is the eighth oldest bank in the world. Her family invented the bank. That's insane. Her family founded the eighth oldest bank in the world. They literally did invent money. I was just joking. Jesse Waters is so incredibly f stupid. Oh, dude, hell yeah. I love when dumb f Republicans get caught with their foot in their f mouths. The thing is, it won't matter. Obviously, their entire perspective is so phenomenally out of touch with the average everyday Joe experience. Except, obviously, obviously, it don't matter. We know that they're f out of touch. That's literally all they do. Their entire advocacy revolves around them being out of touch. Uh, half of their commentary revolves around saying stuff like, yeah, poor people need to be melted. Like they just have not really worked hard enough. Unlike me, uh, my daddy gave me money. Jesse Jebediah Waters. He went on Patrick Bet Davis show to be valutained. And let me tell you something, okay? I was valutained. I wonder if he was valutained as well. Turns out Jesse Waters is not able to do math and thought that $20 an hour at McDonald's was six figures as far as a salary goes. If you're making $20 an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, right? Is that is that six figures? Are you making six? No, no, making no. 40, 40 grand. 50. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Six figs, baby. That's what happens when you have a liberal arts graduate that went to like a 17 person university that was filled to the brim with like senator children you know what i mean and then you got an english major and all you do is larp as like this stem loving conservative person it's also ironic because like six figures ain't shit no more either depending on what part of the six figs we're talking about depending on what border of the six figs you're at and also on top of that where you live it's crazy to think it's crazy to say this because i know there's going to be a lot of chatters in here who live in the midwest right now who are going to be like uh what do you mean what do you mean it's like that's a lot of money it's like no dude if you live in san francisco if you live in los angeles if you live in new york if you live in austin texas if you live in so many of these other places a hundred grand is going to let you skirt you're gonna be fine you're gonna be comfortable but you ain't putting any cash away for a home purchase or anything like that Whereas, like, I feel like you should be able to do that. You know what I mean? That's 100,000 whole dollars, man. It makes no f sense that you can make $100,000 and, like, everything around you is so goddamn expensive that you're still not saving money for a house. Like, what the f is happening? It's so busted, dude. Cities are so goddamn busted and it's almost entirely related to rent prices almost entirely this whole like oh yeah one third of your salary goes to your rent one third of your salary how about half your salary it's very 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 frustrating we have 250k combined in a city our mortgage is 2k a month student loans 2k a month daycare 1.6k a month everything is insane at least you have a house that you yeah that you have a mortgage on so that's like unironically better off than than most people at that point place like california we got california state which has a lot of fucking low income places right across the board that's 40 percent uh, or wait, is that Los Angeles? 40% of Los Angelinos or 40% of Californians, I believe, they own their own homes. Florida resident, 400K house, combined household income, 150K. We barely break even every month just because of daycare costs. We're one social program away from actually being able to build savings again. Yeah, I mean, the list of countries, the country is always like fucked up. It's never that good, but there is one country... The the country is suspiciously that thrive on like super high home ownership rates. Always Eastern soviet bloc countries former soviet countries don't know what that's about don't know what's going on there kind of weird dude socialism bad this goes against that narrative i don't like that it's either countries that are currently exhi uh, exhibiting socialist tendencies and leanings or countries that were formerly socialist very up dude and then you look at the united states of america and it's like 45 percent. i make 100 grand and i live on the subway line in toronto and i have no problems my uncle gave me his house though <laughs> i like that you just you just talked about how you eliminated the single largest problem in the equation which i was just talking about he's like yeah dog i don't get it i don't get it i inherited a house <laughs>
<laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. It's weird. What's the big deal? I have a house that I inherited. Is that is that six figures? Are you making six? No, no, making no. 40, 40 grand. 50, no. 40 grand. 50 years just to exit to and add a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so. 40K a year. Okay, full time. 40K a year. Yeah. So, and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making $100,000 as a family. Sure. Both working at McDonald's? 80, yes. grand. 80 okay, grand. That is Okay, that's crazy. That is crazy. Because that job really doesn't require much. So that's insane. What does your job require, you f asshole? You don't do anything. You just sit there, sexually harass the f staffers, and just re read whatever your f producers wrote on a teleprompter, you f donkey. Dude, see, this is the problem, okay? I'm out of touch. I am out of touch. I'm privileged. I'm very privileged. I'm very fortunate. But I know my f place, dude. I know. I would have never f be like oh yeah dude it's so much easier to just work at a mcdonald's like what what are you doing actually what are you doing you ain't doing sh this stuff pisses me off so much and honestly what pisses me off further is that right wingers get away with this out of touch bullshit every day like everybody's like oh, fake commie fake socialist i there is not even remotely the same level of criticism on a guy like jesse waters who spends most of his days doing commentary that is exactly like is that is exactly this out of touch that shit is so f annoying f this guy bro f this guy so it's inflating the entire mm -hmm. you know uh labor sector and, and the happy meal and the happy meal unhappy which, very which, unhappy which i'm very unhappy about but this guy oh my god how much does jesse waters make i'm gonna look this up right now let's take a look let's figure it out jesse waters salary five million dollars a year god damn son five million years twenty five thousand dollars an hour more than i make in six months Dude, you want to know what's even worse than that? You're putting the average amount of hours put in. Jesse Waters doesn't work a regular nine to five chat. He works like two hours a day from Monday to Thursday. So no, it's not even 25 grand an hour. It's so much. It is so much, so much higher than that. The people who shit on service workers not being worth $20 an hour are the same people who have zero life skills and will probably be the first to go in an apocalyptic society. Yeah, I just, I think it's ridiculous listen as out of touch as out of touch as i am okay as out of touch as i am and let me tell you yes i am privileged like make no mistake i recognize that and i try to work against that every day of my life but the very notion that these guys get away with being out of touch and doing commentary like they know what the f they're talking about frustrates me to no god end i think you would rather have a dude who's out of touch whose uh, heart is in the right place and on your side than a dude who's out of touch and is advocating like he's a everyday man that works like five hours a week maximum getting paid millions of dollars a year to tell you that yeah the working poor deserve less as a matter of fact i hate these people dude these people are unironically doing the thing that every single person accuses me of doing like they are literally doing it and yet those very same people don't get mad at these guys millennial gen z splurge groceries inflation is a wild take what the Groceries are the hottest new splurge category for Gen Z and millennials. Younger generations spend more on groceries than other categories, but all generations are feeling the pinch of inflation at the grocery store. Bro, how is, how, how? Yeah, I love the McKinsey report. Splurging ones meant spending money on buzzy restaurants, expensive vacations, and designer clothing. These days, what is considered splurge worthy falls in a more humble category. I wonder why. What does this say about the living conditions of the average person in the United States of America that is under the age of 45? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Groceries are shaping up to be a top spending priority for younger generations. A February report from McKinsey and Company found the firm asked over 4,000 people from baby movers to Gen Zers about the categories they intend to splurge on this year. Groceries ranked the highest for millennials and Gen Zers, outpacing restaurants, bars, travel, beauty, and personal care. Oh my God, dude. This is crazy, bro. This is an alarm, okay? This is like ding, 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 ding. Situation is untenable. Hello? It's really fed up. Hey, man, I'm splurging on my rent this year, dog. Why? Not because I'm moving up. Not because I've moved into a new apartment. No, it's the same apartment. It's just the price of rent went up. So I'm splurging big dog you know what i'm saying hey guys don't forget to splurge on running water this year okay don't forget to splurge on running hot water guys i love splurging on shelter what am i splurging on oh nothing just toast and eggs and chicken big spender over here whoa big money bags you guys are a bad presidency to be a third world country wait what this is not like 
this is a trend, okay? This is not the fault of one individual president. This is the fault of every president. This is not the fault of one party, but both parties. This is just the fault of the structures that we exist under. Millennials are also becoming parents, which means they spend more on themselves, their partners, and their children. It's notable shift from 2018 where older generations like baby boomers and Gen Xers still, still spent more on groceries than millennials. Gen Z, meanwhile, said they often choose high quality snacks and beverages. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We should arrest everyone that works at McKinsey. We should arrest everyone just in general. We should put them in the jails. We should take the people out of the jails and we should put these guys in jail for writing such things. That This is the avocado toast for the Gen Zers, bro, which also ironically features millennials as well in the process because millennials are just as cooked as the Gen Zers are as far as their dire economic circumstances. Oh my God, to the Lulag, all of you. One 23 year old Gen Zer told Business Insider that the, by text, he spends about $130 on groceries for a week and a half, fancy sodas and drinks, and random snacks at Trader Joe's account for the bulk of the bill. He also said he spends about $35 on protein bars. The success of the canned water brand Liquid Death is an example of young people's willingness to spend on flashy food and beverages. The brand shot up in valuation by 1.4 billion thanks to a recent round of funding for was reported yeah dude they're buying liquid death that's why it's breaking the bank please somebody somebody please help me i'm spending too much somebody help me budget i'm spending too much on liquid death i'm splurging on water oh, fuck. gen zers are an employer's worst nightmare sophia the daughter of crispin james allen James Allen Newell Money Coots. Okay, if you have two, if you have names like this, if you have a name like this, it's over. Okay, if your daddy has this many f names, you are probably coming from a long line of aristocracy. Okay, that's like only barons have this kind of name naming convention. It's Tucker Carlson, by the way. Ironically, you got money in your f name, dude. Ninth Baron Latimer. Oh my god, he literally is a baron of the Coots family who founded the private bank and granddaughter of Bill Dees, former editor of the Telegraph, hustled all hours to build her career at the Checks Note Telegraph. Bro, you're literally, your name is Money Coots. Shut the f*** up. See yourself out of this conversation. Oh my god. Gen Z are an employer's nightmare. My 20s put them to shame. Like most of my peers, I hustled at all hours for my career. A far cry from this minimum effort generation and their lazy girl jobs. Uh, my, my father the inventor of money. <laughs> yes, how devious. Hello, I am Sophia Money Coots, daughter of Crispin James Allen Neville Money Coots, ninth Baron of Latimer of the Coots family who founded the private bank and also founded money. It is in our name. I don't have to work for a single moment for the rest of my life, and yet I still spend every waking hour making the next generation's lives all that much worse. Uh, that's right. Have you heard of the phrase anti-hustle? Oh my God. I hate these people so much. Oh my God. There's old money and then there is money so old it's mentioned in Bram Stoker's Dracula. She is of the latter. Oh my God. Bro, money wasn't called that before this family. That's how old they are. I was just joking. I was just joking. She, her family was there when they invented vampires, bro. Like when vampires were being invented in fiction, her family was there being mentioned. Okay, maybe they did literally invent money. Have you considered that maybe it's just coincidence that she got there on merit? Yes, dude. The merit being that she's really good at writing articles about how hard it is to be literally the stupidest, how hard it is to be so f unimaginably rich so rich that it is diabolical so rich that even like the greatest capitalist cuck will recognize that it is diabolical overall like this is the kind of wealth that like even those who are like oh i'm gonna get my money up i'm a entrepreneur hustle culture baby even those guys are like nah that is actually crazy this is like pedophilia illuminati shit. I don't want to look how much their family is worth it is the eighth oldest bank in the world her family invented the bank that's insane her family founded the eighth oldest bank in the world they literally did invent money that's crazy bro do people think that like this is a valid article to write do people not realize that like you can google this sh i was just joking it turns out it's real it turns out it's no my god oh my god it's like a it's a joke it feels like a joke it feels too stupid to be real yes you simply came from money uh what you fail to understand is that i am money holy sh i genuinely don't want to know how much their family's worth but i'm gonna do it anyway and it's gonna make me
have an aneurysm. I want to see. I, I do now. Now I want to see. Coots, family, net worth. Their total assets are ha, 34 billion pounds. Wait, hold on. That's, that might be just the bank. That might be the bank's total assets. Look at her biography and the photo she included of a childhood journal entry she made. Today, my family and I went to the Gold Cup final of the polo. There was an Indian princess. We gave the cup to the winners. Early attempts at writing. Her brother is literally a magician, lol. That's sick, though. That's actually cool. Like, yeah, do something fun with your life instead of, like, bring joy to the world, okay? Shock people with magic. Instead of, if you are the fail son of a, a omega billionaire guy who invented money this is exactly what you're supposed to do like arrested development okay like that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to do this shit. not the other shit. the f wrong with you it's insane it's insane that this is the situation you found yourself in where you're like you are literally one of the wealthiest people on the planet and you spend every waking moment being like how do i over poor people even more i don't get it it is really funny because like this stuff this existence is unironically what not even just my haters but most people think is how i live like i i come from billionaire oligarchs with many trust funds that control what goes on in entire nations and i've i've chosen to get a cushy job with my uncle who was also an omega billionaire and then i chose to do twitch because uh, you know my uncle paid everybody to watch me or some shit. i don't know third paragraph on our bio is the same then looking for an adventure i went to work for a newspaper in abu dhabi near dubai for the geographic lead challenged among us called the national i lived in the gulf for two years writing about its growing art film and fashion scene and i interviewed a backstreet boy on the phone while sitting naked on my bed i think it was brian because i had to fit him in between my shower and going out for supper after that i was back home in london to work for the daily mail's features desk i wasn't a writer there i was an editor during the two years i worked for the paper my favorite headlines were is your shampoo making you fat and the downside of beating cancer i promise you these were both genuine headlines i feel like there's also like a lot of these magazines that just simply interview you or put you in the cover because you're rich it's like why what has this person done like why are how are they how are they on the covers of magazines like it doesn't make any sense i don't understand also you know she's old money rich because of look at that jaw dude look at that goddamn chin you don't get that chin without a decent amount of inbreeding okay without like your forefathers your ancestors being like we need to keep our wealth inside of the family that's why you have to marry you have to marry your first cousin d'artagnan you must marry your sister we have to keep the wealth inside of the family that's what happens only through like systematic inbreeding do you arrive at such a powerful jaw like that okay another banger from her is boarding school really such a terrible experience i quite enjoyed it <laughs> what do you mean who is reading this who is this article for like eight people i don't get it who's this article for dumb f that's who okay i i i'm done i'm done with this brief venture into money coots money bags i can't i can't do this no more this is starship troopers this is not what i saw in the mother training mission this ain't training no more Holy baby you're in this sh Oh, what the f Carter? God, you walked in front of me! I am scared of no arachnids. Don't say him. Don't say him like that. I've got my crayon ration. I know my ABC. Whoa, watch out, soldier. That's for making fun of me because I can read. I'm calling in the napalm. Oh, god damn, this is great. Freedom never sleeps! <laughs> <laughs> this game is awesome.